Have you disabled the lock yet? I'm all for leaving this place as soon as we can. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling maybe some ferocious Pokemon battled here? That... that was almost like... No, it can't be. Alright. <clears throat> there was definitely something off about the professor just now. Maybe it was a little dramatic flair to get us... jazz? What? That got you jazz? Yeah, maybe even big time jazz. You need to go see a doctor, that's just not right. Pretty sure that call was really... Uh, never mind. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kinda down. Some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol. I recognize it. It was in the, uh... The Violet Book. What if it... What if it's just gonna be like... The other Maridon, maybe? Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it! Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Heh, <laughs> yeah right. That's just fluff they write to fill up the textbooks. Hello children, you've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right professor? But wait. Why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. The energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokémon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have all the same, since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to Zero Lab should now be open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Dangerous Pokemon? With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You've got me and Mal here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Ha, huh, well then, that puts all my worries to rest. Alright, time to open the gate. Hold it! Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, shouldn't we also have Maridon help? Yeah, if Maridon were like how we saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see a battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on now, let Maridon out. Sure, we'll try. Alright, come on now. Now that we got Maridon ready, it's time to open that gate. The frames! Oh. Hey there. The family reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. Yeah, 
that doesn't look like no family reunion. No, something's not right. It's going in. Okay, I thought we were going to fight right there, but... Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? That's not what that looked like. Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Maridon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about a thing. Uh, not that you should worry about a thing. Wait. Wait. Uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into the battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, if you want to. S sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... Uh, Hariyama. What the? Oh, there's a lot of you. We're surrounded! And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly war welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me they're all future Pokemon? We got a little disaster on our hands. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Mal, let's do this together. Alright. Oh, super effective. Eh. Scarada, go. Although I think uh, Nimona is probably gonna finish it off. Never mind, we're faster. Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Bobby, nyom. Ah, why are they coming at me? Mao, help me out here. Oh dang, okay, it's just individual battles. It's not consecutive. Iron hands. Let me guess, acrobatics should be good. Nope. Maybe it's fighting steel. It's fighting steel. Or electric? Send Meowskarada back out, I guess.
Okay, so I think it is fighting. Maybe fighting electric? Ugh, the future must be terrifying. Oh no, they're running away! Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait! Ah, ah, ah. Hold on, Mimona. Why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. I guess it's time for us to deal what's, with what's left. Let's go for the strong looking one first. Uh, Palma should be more than enough. Or Ice Punch. Ice Punch works. See? The power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face the other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabasta here can take them. So Mao, you take your Pokemon- your- <clears throat> So Mao, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Gotcha. <laughs> Glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. Mabostiff can't wait to battle either. Miraidon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You got amazing powers. So, if you just use them... And you've got us too. Let me... Let me try that again. You've got amazing powers, if you just use them. And you've got us too. So... So... So don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave. Stand up. And fight. Can I... Can I catch one of these real quick, please? Please? No. Hey, Professor Turo, that is not you. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello, Mao. Thank you for coming. It's a master ball. No, back to your ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Maridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Turo. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Oh. Well. That sucks for Arvin. The Pokemon was not to blamed 
It was the original professor who failed the, to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more for Maridon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and ex asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Mao, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make her descent. Follow me. I guess we could rest here if we wanted. Booster energy? Help by Pokemon with certain abilities? Wait, hang on, what is that? Hold item. Energy that fills this capsule boosts the strength of the Pokemon. Certain abilities. It's not Maridon, would it be? This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Mao, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? Uh, an AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son Arvin to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. What is it that you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live aside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original presser would say that such destruction ah, is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. When they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been the created as a copy of the professor, and yet, I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Mao, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help. We reached the lowest level. Oh, pretty. I can feel the frames chugging.
Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Violet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the time machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling ab abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, Please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. Everyone is healed up. Let's also drop a fresh save even though it's also auto-saving. ID confirmed. Professor Turo. Access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Mal. AI Turo switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please, defeat me. At last. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. Oh boy. But why did the Master Ball come from the sky? Wasn't it in your pocket? Or... Are there going to be... Oh! I see. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to... Oh, I... okay, I couldn't read that fast enough. So... The Pokeballs they sent out... They were all Master Balls? That's what that's implying to me. Oh boy. Do you imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Parasus is back. This is the power of the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? Okay, but water is effective, so it's part fire. Now, this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? Maybe it's fire electric? Well, I have no idea. Iron thorns. Well, I do not have a guess at what that could be, but... Thorns is related to plants, so maybe it's weak to fire? Oh! Um... Okay, Tyrandar's Dark Rock. It probably retained the dark. Okay, we're faster. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Halifin. <laughs> oh, but you're also paralyzed. Jet punch. Good job, good job. Iron hands, okay. You know this is the Makahita. Or the Hariyama. I'll bring Palmet out and heal up the two. So these are all the Paradox Pokemon, I'm guessing? Start with the Revive. We weren't doing anything anyway, cool. And paralyze heal. Oh, drain punch, okay. Okay, you have to be the same typing as Palmut, I'd imagine. Dig is super effective. We'll go with that. Probably not gonna one shot it though. That nah, wasn't even close. Okay, good job, Palmut. Get back here. I don't have anything for electric coverage. Play rough? Oh, because fighting! Okay, but you're bulky. I should have faked out. Crap, it's neutral. Oh my god, the fake out mattered. Dark Flying, Palafin, because I would have used Palmut, but he's fainted. I'm digging the music track. In there, jet punch Could be enough. Iron bundle. Okay, Nyaskarada should have the upper hand. It's water ice. sort of error has occurred here. Recalculating for critical damage. Iron Valiant. Which one was this? Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you ruining is zero. Oh! Booster energy? Oh. 
So, um, I hope, okay, fighting psychic, um, surely fairy is still good. Nice, okay, cool. That's pretty cool, though. What happened to the Maridon? Impossible. Now. What's this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... It has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So pr proud of you, mine. Sorry you were alone so, so long, Arv. D Dad? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, 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 what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? Was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Turo's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI turtle disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. You are not getting in my way. Oh boy. Challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. There's the Maridon. Yeah, I figured as much. Um. There really is only one option. <laughs> You can do it, Maridon. I believe we're all here with you.
Hadron Engine. Turn the ground to electric terrain. Alright. Let's see what we're working with. Power Gem, Electro Drift, Endure, and Terra Blast. Alright. Uh, given the situation, I think we're spamming Power Gem. It knows different moves than us. It changed into its battle form! Let's go, Maridon! You got this! You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Oh, jeez. Should I be worried about getting healed? You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles in my way are to be eliminated. Man, no wonder my Maridon lost. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Mal. The data say I am the superior. Fawn become a foundation upon which my dream may be built. Okay, that's... Um... Right on toughened it out. Okay, this is just scripted then. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this! I know you can! There's no way I use Electro Drift. Can I check what type you are? Electric Dragon. Yeah, you're not gonna... You're not gonna do crap with that one. So yeah, we really only have one option. Am I supposed to heal though? Or maybe... Oh man, can we really pull off... Not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey Mao, your terror orb's glowing! Oh, here it goes. Mao, Maridon, terrestrialize and finish this off. Everything rose. All right. We're going for it. Let's see this Terra Blast. We did it! You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. You did it! It... It's not going berserk anymore? How... How very astounding! To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you... back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI processing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. 
the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter what, no matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Mao. I thank all of you, children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What? What does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you, your freedom, the way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them, the way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles, the way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you love, the way that you never cease to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now. Right when we finally reached you. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot design, deny my desire to see that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You. You can't. You you can't just go and say a thing like that now. No. I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin. Miraidon. Mao. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dad! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Could you just go? Dad. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah. Somewhere deep down, I. I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake. But it. When it said my name, using his voice, wearing his face. Even if it was fake, it it felt real, you know? So I I just Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay that that's okay.
I guess Miraidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form. How cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big winner here. Mal and Miraidon just saved all of Paldea. Th that's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Mal. Yeah, that's my bud Mal for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a really fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Mal? How about we go home? It's been a long, long day. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Oh, there we go. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Mao, not you too. Oh, alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. Isn't Arvin lucky to be with three girls? He was the actual MC all this time. He's got his own harem and everything. Thank you, treasured friends. All right. Oh, picture. We did it. Calling students to the director's office. Miss Mao, Miss Nimona, Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clava would like to see you in his office. Uh, I'll check my Pokedex later. Ha! Looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Miss Mao? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard and I couldn't be prouder of all of you. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly... regrettable. Ha, <laughs> you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook this particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Miss Mao, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends have received one already, so this one is for you. Hey. Um, doesn't Zero Lab have like a bunch of these though? Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago, that gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a motto for your fellow students. Um, sure. Yeah. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin? I was so sorry to hear about the professor. 
You have my deepest condolences. Ah, uh, well... Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now. For the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is, I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. And my boss diff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. Of course. I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. Uh, what? No way. And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though sadly we cannot make your valiant deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, your new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know! How we should celebrate? We should hold a Pokemon battle contest! Seriously? Could we not? Classic Demona. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Demona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large scale event will be quite beyond us. We've many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, but I couldn't help but over here. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well. A most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young, upcoming talent. Though, that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too, right Primera? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but... Wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but... I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Ah, you can't free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Mal would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Um, what do you need help with? Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Mal. To get straight to it. I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my steed. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well... Consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say, they might be even more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous! Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weakness in our leak point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna binge? Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. 
Ah, uh, I'm just like Penny for real, for real. I, uh, uh, I'll do it. Uh, I'll help. Let, let let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Oh boy. This is awesome, Mal. Show this inspection thing who's boss so that La Primera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. You are the student council president, after all. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league. Our new champion inspecting the gyms, Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Guess my role's so obvious it goes without saying, 